Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be testing out some brand new products from Ulta. I recently just got some things in PR and I also went on the What's New page and I purchased some things that I figured I would share with you guys. I also have a wear test, flash test throughout the video, so we're going to see how all these products wear and if they're good or not. This entire video honestly was inspired by the new Love Melissa Michelle collection. This was sent to me in PR and I was honestly fangirling when she even reached out to me on Instagram. I told her this in the message and I could not believe it because I've been watching her for years. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. She's beautiful, humble, super sweet, and I loved her first palette that she did with Ulta last year. So I'm really, really happy and proud of her that she was able to do a full collection with them. It's amazing, and the Ulta Beauty line is one of my favorite brands ever. So yeah, congrats to Melissa. I just wanted to give her a shout out because she really deserves it, and she deserves so much more recognition. So I will leave her channel and all her info down below in the description box. If you guys don't know who she is, I'm pretty sure you do, but you should definitely check out her channel. She is awesome, and I think you guys would really love her if you don't already watch her and love her already. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to to grab a snack, subscribe to my channel before you leave, and let's jump into it. So, I just was recording an eye look and I realized that my camera wasn't recording. I'm just grateful that I noticed before I started the rest of my makeup, so I had to wipe everything off, so if I have a little bit of glitter on my face, that is why. Anyways, <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the Love Melissa Michelle palette today, and I, from what I did play with so far, like I said, I wasn't recording, I really, really like this palette. It is so buttery and pigmented and it's amazing. For 20 bucks, you can't really beat it. I mean, you get nine eyeshadows, a glitter liner, and three glitter shades. I mean, that's a steal. So I do really like this palette so far, so let's proceed with the video. I'm recording. Everything's good. Let's zoom in. I did reprime my lids, and I just used my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard. I also did set my lids, and I used this color right here, which is called Rotorman, and it's just a really nice muted cream peachy color. Okay, so I'm starting off with the shade right here, which is called Boo Bears, and I'm going to be applying that right in my crease. I'm also applying the color on the lid pretty much everywhere. By the way, don't mind this little friend that I have here. It decided to pop up out of nowhere. Then I'm picking up this shade right here. I love this color. I think this is going to be a gorgeous shade for all my brown eyed babes out there. I'm going to really concentrate that color right on the outer part of my crease. And I'm using my Sigma E25 blending brush, which is very similar to the Morphe M433. I love this shade. It is so vibrant, so pretty. There is some fallout with this palette, but honestly, it's nothing crazy, and I don't mind when eyeshadow palettes have fallout. I literally say that, I feel like, in every video, but I really don't, especially if the palette like this one is so affordable. It's not, like, a deal breaker for me, so. If I'm paying, like, $100 for an eyeshadow palette, then, you know, something different. Like, if we're talking Natasha Denona or something like that, but... This is so affordable, and it's so buttery that it's like, I don't even mind. Next, I'm going to take the shade right here, which is called Dude. This is such a gorgeous color. It's sort of like a brown, but it has these really pretty, like, glitter shimmers in it. It's gorgeous. I'm going to dip in and just really press that color down. The fallout could also be because I'm using a, a natural hair brush for a shimmer shade. So if you're using a flat concealer brush and you're spraying it, you're not going to get as much fallout. So just a little FYI. I'm going to use this flat concealer brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm going to use some concealer. And I'm going to just clean up the inner part right here and attempt to do kind of like a mid cut crease. It's not going to be a full on, but. Okay, I don't like this concealer. I'm using the new Becca concealer, which I'm going to use on my face later, but it's so thick. Ugh, it's like not creamy at all, so let's not use that. Okay, I'm gonna jump into my NARS Soft Matte Concealer because it's way creamier. I'm gonna use this color right here, which is called Hey Guys, and I'm gonna be applying that right where I used the concealer. I am dipping my brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and spray just so it adheres better.
Oh, I love that shade. It's gorgeous, but I really want to play with the glitter, so I'm going to go ahead and top that off. I'm going to use the shade right here, which is Manifest, and I'm actually going to use this brush that comes with the palette. In Melissa's review of this collection, she did mention that this brush does help with the glitter sticking best so if you get the palette don't toss your brush I know brushes like this tend to be like forgotten about and honestly I don't even use brushes like this usually with eyeshadow but with the glitter she did say it's gonna work the best I'm basically just gonna top this with the glitter because the glitter is just too pretty not to use that I have to use it Oh my gosh, I love this eye look. And you guys know I'm really not big on cool tones anymore. Like I used to love cool tones back in the day when I was in high school. And then I went to warm tones. But like this is so, so beautiful. I'm obsessed. Let's try this glitter liner too. Okay, so this is the glitter liquid liner. And this one's in the shade Dang. And it just looks like this. Ooh, so pretty. You could even maybe use this as like an eyeshadow tapper type thing as well. Basically just running that right in the crease. I'm gonna just pop on these lashes also from the collection. These retail for $7. They look really pretty. I don't know how I'm honestly gonna like them with this eye look just because this is pretty dramatic. But we are gonna test them out and see what happens. It might be a little too like thin I feel like for what I personally did right now. Let me see. I always like to place the lash on to see if I'm gonna like the way that it looks. Cause they're really pretty, I just feel like I'm gonna like them more with like a natural look. Yeah, these are a little too natural for this eye look that I did. So I'm not gonna use these today. I'm gonna pop on some different ones. I don't know exactly which ones I'm gonna do, but yeah, I'm gonna save these for like a more minimal glam look. Okay, I think I'm gonna do these, these Scandal Lashes in the style Hollywood Glam. I've actually used these before and I love Scandal Lashes. So I'm actually just gonna apply the glue and then I'm gonna let these sit for a little bit and I'm gonna move into skin in the meantime. Okay, so now on to skin. I got this new Soap & Glory, the Fab Pore 3 in 1 Oil Control Serum. It just looks like this. I love the one heck of a blot primer so when I saw this I was like mm, yeah I need that so I'm gonna just apply this on my t-zone oh it smells really minty definitely does mattify the skin and then I also have this Laura Geller spackle mist this is the one with coconut water prime set and refresh so I'm gonna use this to prime and set my makeup so it just looks like this really cute packaging I've actually tried the Laura Geller spackle mist before I didn't notice a huge difference with my makeup, but I thought I would give this one a try. Uh, I don't like the spritzer. There's like barely any product coming out. I mean, it feels refreshing. Like if you want to like spray your body if you feel really hot, but like in general, I don't like the spritzer on it. For foundation, I have the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation in number six. Hopefully this matches me. I'm kind of tan right now. So this is actually light to medium coverage and has SPF 15 in it. So apparently it's going to be a good foundation for summer. Let's do a sponge on one side. This is the LA Girl sponge, by the way. Should I zoom in a little bit more? Okay, it's blending out really, really nicely. The color actually does match me, like, perfectly right now. Oh my gosh, I gotta pop on these lashes. I always do that, I forget. Okay, I'm so glad the glue didn't dry all the way, but I'm using the Morphe M439 right now to blend out the other side. The sponge side is definitely... Oh my gosh, this lighting. Seriously, for once, I want it to be cloudy outside. It's super early right now. It's like 10, so like the sun is going in and it's going out. So I apologize, but I like the side with the brush way better. I feel like it gives more coverage. This is definitely a light to medium coverage foundation. Mm, I prefer the brush side. I think it's way better. It's definitely not full coverage, but it looks pretty. I'm gonna build it up because I want full coverage. Um, I just, I prefer it, and I'm going to just use the brush all over the face because that's just my preference with this foundation right now. A lot of people don't think that I use foundation on my forehead, and I do. I just don't use a lot because I don't feel like I need a ton of coverage on my forehead. I usually like to apply most of my foundation 
down here because that's where I want the most coverage. But you know what? In today's case, let's pack it on up here because we have a big zit that is not cute. I would say it's definitely not a matte finish. It's more of like a natural radiant finish. It doesn't have any glitter or anything in it, but it does give you like kind of like that really natural glow. Then for concealer, I got the Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. I got this one in the shade Sesame. I really don't know if it's going to match, but we shall see. Now, I tried to like use this earlier as I showed you guys like to cut my crease a little bit and it just felt like it was so thick like it just ugh. and like even right now this feels extremely thick kind of reminds me of the Tarte Maracuja creaseless concealer but like in a tube form oh my gosh this is so thick I mean it's blending but it is very very thick The color might actually be a good match for me right now. It's definitely one of those concealers that takes effort to blend. Like, it's not going to blend effortlessly. You really have to, like, take your time with it. It doesn't look terrible, but it definitely is a heavier concealer. I'd say this concealer has some good medium coverage. It's definitely not, like, the Tarte Shape Tape or even, like, the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but it is medium coverage. Next up, I'm so excited about this Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. I saw this and I was like, okay, I need it in my life. So that is what the packaging looks like. So the packaging looks like this. It sort of has like a net. I'm going to just use my sponge to set because I feel like a sponge versus a brush is just better. Sometimes I use a brush, but I prefer a sponge. looks really good I still have a little bit of glitter on my face from the eyeshadow that happens okay that looks really really good you guys like I don't know if it's just me but I like that I'm gonna apply this pretty much everywhere where I applied my concealer I like how it has a slight banana tone to it um, I really like this. I'm gonna set the rest of my makeup and I'm gonna use this NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Medium Olive. And I'm gonna just use a Wet n Wild brush. I always like to run through the rest of my face with powder because when I go in with my bronzer, it's just gonna go on a lot smoother. Okay, so I'm gonna move into the rest of the face. Let's start off with contour. I actually have two different contour and blush kits in here. I have this new Smashbox one right here. This is the Ablaze Face Palette, and this is actually a lot smaller than what I thought it was gonna be. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna use, I think, these two colors on one side of my face to contour, and then I have the California in a Box Palette, and this is from Catrice. Similar concept. Two blushes, two highlighters, two bronzers. Well, this one only has one highlighter, but it's a big one. I'm gonna start by just bronzing the skin. I'm gonna start with this side, and I'm gonna use the Catrice bronzers, and I'm gonna just mix the two. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is the E3 from Morphe. Ooh, that's a nice color. It's a lot more pigmented than what it appears to be like in the pan. It doesn't seem like it's gonna be that dark, but it actually really is. And I'm gonna use a smaller, more precise brush. This one I got in my BoxyCharm. It's the Luxie 516. Okay, I actually really like this bronzer. And I'm not gonna use the blushes today because I'm gonna use the blushes from the Love Melissa Michelle collection, so we're gonna have to use the blushes another time. But the bronzer on that one I really like. So then on the other side, I'm gonna use the Smashbox bronzer, and I'm gonna use this brush from Wet n Wild. I like them both. It's not that I don't like either or, but they both gave me a very similar effect. They're both really smooth. I like them both. Cool. So I'm going to just clean that up actually a little bit. Then for blush, I'm going to go into the Love Melissa Michelle Bling on the Glam Cheek Palette. Just looks like this. So we have two matte blushes and two highlighters in here. And you do get a little mirror, which I love. And I really, really think that's super convenient, especially when filming. So I'm going to mix the two blushes because I usually do that anyway with my blushes. 
oh my gosh look at that pigment that's crazy oh my gosh I love that that is really pigmented I probably used a little too much oh there's the sun again going in and out I'm gonna blend it out so don't be scared this is such a pretty blush combo it's like you're blushing you know what I mean like it's just like that natural rosy flush I know that I went ham with it but I really wanted to show you guys the color now for my favorite part highlighting I know a lot of people don't like when I highlight a lot but it's personal preference that's the thing with makeup you can do it however you like to do it I like a lot of highlight you don't have to like it I mean it's okay it's just makeup we're all gonna be okay so I'm gonna use lands and bubs both of them maybe I'll use one on one side so we can see like the difference but this one up here it has more of like a pinky sort of yeah this one's more pink bubs is definitely more gold which I think I'm definitely gonna like bubs more just because that's naturally what I gravitate towards more but I do like pinky highlights actually I'm gonna start off with the shade bubs and I'm gonna use my Anastasia a23 brush oh yep love it already it's like a really nice gold and it doesn't have any glitter in it which I appreciate oh my gosh these could even be eyeshadows as well wow that is stunning so pretty and this palette is so affordable like for what you get and these sizes right here are really really good sizes so on the other side I'm going to use the shade lands and I'm going to use my morphe m501 Ooh, this is definitely more pinky, but it's pretty. Oh my gosh, I actually really like them both. Down the bridge of the nose. At this point, I'm just going to mix the two since I already know what they both look like. Jumping back into the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using which color do I want to use? Let's go in with this shade right here. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this palette. I'm going to go back into the highlighter palette. I'm going to be taking the shade Lands, and I'm going to be applying that in the inner corner and the brow bone. For eyeliner, I'm just going to line my waterline with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Alkaline, which is like a nice eggplant purple. Alright, I'm going to set my makeup really quick, do some lower lash mascara, let my camera charge for like 10 minutes, and then we're going to jump into the lips, and then we'll be all done. Yeah, I don't like this setting spray like at all, you guys. Okay, so for lip products, I have these two lip kits. These are also from the Love Melissa Michelle collection. So the first lip kit is in Spicy. It's kind of like a sort of rose color, definitely a fall shade. And then the other one is in Dante, which is more of like a pinky. Okay, so these come with a lip liner, and then this is their matte lipstick, which I really, really like because I love having like the same color of both, you know what I mean? Oh wow, this is really pink. So this is dainty. I thought it was going to be a little bit darker. This is definitely a true pink. It's pretty, but honestly, I can't say that I would wear this probably on its own just because I'm personally not a fan of pinks. I feel like they just don't suit me personally. It is a really nice shade. I can see myself mixing this with other nudes that I have in my collection, but like on its own, I probably wouldn't wear it, but that's just, again, me, my personal preference because I'm not a fan of pink. Formula-wise, though, this is a really nice matte shade. It's not drying. It's super creamy everything glided on so I do like that
I really love this color. I can see myself wearing this a lot in the fall especially. And I think with the eyeshadow it goes really well just because the eyeshadows have a lot of purpley and pink undertones and the lip color is just like perfect for it. So I do really really like it. Alright guys, so that completes this first impressions video. Overall, I'm really happy with the majority of the products that I tried. This Love Melissa Michelle collection is everything. I cannot wait to do more looks with it. The glitter in here is insane. Like it's just so beautiful. I love this lip color actually with the eyes. Even though it's really out of my comfort zone, I really like this whole look in general and I can't wait to use this gold in here. So be on the lookout for more videos using this palette because I already love it so far and I think for the price you really can't beat it. I also really like this cheek palette from her. I think this is great. The highlights in here are stunning. I mean this gold is everything. This pinky toned. The blushes are everything. So this is also a really really great palette. So I'm in love with the products. And everything else I really do like. The Smashbox contouring kit was really nice on this side and I also really like the Catrice one. I think the colors are very very similar honestly. The Catrice one maybe could be like a cheaper alternative to the Smashbox one. I'm going to keep playing with those two and I'll keep you posted, but I really, really like the face products. The only thing that I really didn't like was this concealer and it's just because the formula was so thick. I feel like stuff like this for my under eye just doesn't work the greatest because it will crease and it just looks really dry and i just not a fan. I'll keep using this and I'll let you know my thoughts, but like right off the bat, I definitely don't love the concealer. Also, this Laura Geller Spackle Mist, I don't like. I just don't like the spritzer. I mean... This is like barely anything coming out and I know a lot of people like stuff like this but for me I like something that just applies the setting spray so evenly on the face where I actually feel like I'm getting product. Like for me this is like barely anything. I could get that spray and probably put it in a different bottle but I mean do I really want to do all that? This was already really expensive. I really also love this Tarte Shape Tape Setting Powder. This is beautiful. I think it looks really good on the skin and I actually want to see if this is going to give me a flash cast, flash cast, flashback white cast in photos. <laughs> so I'm going to test that out right now actually with my phone. Okay this is not a cute picture of me. I literally look scared but it doesn't look like there's a crazy white cast like I think everything looks pretty even it looks nice and I'm impressed so right now it is 11 51 a.m. I'm gonna go about my day and then I will come back and I'll let you guys know how everything is wearing but so far I'm really happy with the products minus those two things that I mentioned but we'll see how the foundation and everything wears so I will see you guys in a few hours hey guys I am back so right now it is approximately 8 15 p.m. so I've been wearing this makeup for about eight hours and this is what the face is looking like so I am pretty oily right now. I started noticing my oils peeking through probably about two hours ago So that's six hours into wearing the foundation, which is honestly pretty damn good Especially with this heat and today it was rainy here in PA humid and gross and I feel like my makeup held up really nicely I mean obviously my forehead and my t-zone's a little oily, but it's been way worse So I know this might look a little bad to you guys, but I'm telling you I've seen this look a hot mess and this to me is actually pretty good so i'm actually gonna blot right now and touch up the makeup i have these palladio rice paper blotting sheets i actually got these per casey holmes recommendations and i've been loving them so let's blot the face Ooh, lots of oil but again it's really not that bad though it's mainly my t-zone which is pretty standard for me just because i do have combo skin and I should have probably mentioned that earlier, but that's usually where I get the most oily. Everything else is pretty normal for me. But as you can see, the blush, the bronzer, the highlight, everything is still in place. It's literally just my forehead that gets a little oily, but it's nothing that a Palladio blotting sheet can't fix. My favorite powder to touch up with is the Universal one from Fenty Beauty. I love this one so much. It literally doesn't even look like I used it, but a little bit goes a long way. And I just really like it because it really, like set your makeup so nicely when you're touching up and it doesn't remove any of your makeup or add any extra coverage. It's just such a nice powder. I still feel like honestly the foundation looks so good. Like I really really like the coverage of it. I like how it was buildable. It's really lightweight and I actually got compliments on my makeup today so that's always a good thing when other people notice that your makeup looks good. So all in all, I'm really impressed with everything. I don't really have any major complaints. Even like the concealer honestly like it didn't crease underneath my eyes as much as I thought it was going to just because of how thick it was as I mentioned to you guys earlier so I'm gonna keep using it especially with some of my other favorite foundations and I'll keep you posted I really do think that this Tarte Shape Tape Powder is like witchcraft or something because it honestly made the concealer look 10 times better versus when I just had it on like without setting it so I think this powder is like a gem and I'm so excited to keep using it but yeah I love everything else let me know what you guys think you guys are my ultimate critics so leave me a comment down below 
out. So that is it for this video. I really hope this was helpful. If you guys are looking into shopping some new goodies at Ulta, let me know if you've tried any of these products down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in a few days in my next one. Bye.